Why Nasty C will never blow up in America. I know it's a harsh title, but we have to talk about this. There has been a debate online since January about Def Jam, whether or not they are failing Nasty C in terms of breaking him into the US market. The dude signed with them in 2020, but he doesn't even have a billboard hit, he's basically a nobody. I mean, his new album didn't even generate a national hit. Something's off, and I'm gonna discuss that in the video. Now, I personally don't think the label is failing him, which I'm going to share why in this video, along with why Nasty C will probably never blow up in the US and what he can do to change that. Now, number one, he doesn't stand out. He may be original in South Africa, but he's like everyone else in America. He is a goat in South Africa, but he's basically a nobody in America. That's because he doesn't stand out. Sure, the fact that he is a foreigner from South Africa makes him more interesting, but nobody cares because there's nothing about him that screams African, except because, well, he's black. The way he dresses, the way he raps, the way he speaks. Oh, my friends, like I moved up my friend Teddy, who was my photographer. Screams American culture. If he were actually American, nobody would notice him still because he's just like any other rapper in America. I mean, Drake is a rapper who sings that made him different when he first came up. Lil Wayne, a hip hop rock star, and that makes him different. As a result, he has copycats. And I don't understand why people like to compare him to Tyler. Tyler isn't popular in South Africa. Well, currently, she's only popular because she won a Grammy. But that that doesn't even have awards in South Africa. Like. I don't understand but anyway that's a different topic for another day but i understand why she blew up you know she's something new she's a red breed she's bringing something different to the table that's why american idolizes her she speaks and sings like a south african i feel like i come with the story you know i come from a very small place little city in south and she dances like a south african she's bringing this south african flavor to the market that makes her different she can easily get into pop music since pop music is currently dying maybe she could bring that back but I mean, she could collab with the likes of Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, even though she does a little bit of uh, rock music. I mean, they even met last year, so they could collab. Now, enough about Tyler. Nasty C not standing out is also the reason why I think he didn't get a Grammy nomination. Hip hop is not a genre that came from Africa. Costa Teach probably would have been the perfect candidate for that category, but unfortunately, May his soul rest in peace. But you know what sucks the most is that our black South African musicians don't want to make African music and be proud of it. We letting anyone who doesn't even identify themselves as black bring the South African flavor to the world. Like how does that even make sense? You know? I'm I'm black, but uh, you hear me. I'm black, but I'm trying to sound American. Like why? This is a little controversial. I'm sorry if I offended you. I also offended myself too. And we have Burna Boy, David O. Wizkid, I consider them Afrobeat rappers. They are well-known names because they are original. Same as Latin people when they first came up, like I think in 2021. Like Latin music was very popular. I mean, with the likes of Bad Bunny, Maluma, J Balvin, Anita. Like they are all original. Nasty C should find a way to be different. Whether it's pivoting his sound to a piano or something, maybe his brand image. Maybe he should just stop twanging and start speaking like a South African because yo, I I really wonder what Americans say about him, the way he talks. Like, you're not even from America, but yet, yo, you know what? That's way off topic. Number two, hip hop is declining at the moment. Like, if you look at the stats, country and rock music are at its peak in the US. So, for an international act, your best bet is to come in the game with your South African sauce or wherever you come from. This is bad news for Nasty C. All of the people that blew up in America came with their signature style of South African music. The likes of Brenda Farsi, Mariam Mageba, Huma Sigela, O'Hale, Tyler. Like, come on. Plus, he could make this as an excuse to pivot to Amapiano, maybe make himself an Amapiano rapper and make it a thing, you know, because it's unheard of, you know. Nasty C is at a point where he can start experimenting with his sound. I don't understand why he can't hop on an Afrobeat or Amapiano song with his fellow South Africans. It never killed anyone. It's not like selling yourself to the devil. Like, come on. And number three is he doesn't do much marketing. Yeah, traditional marketing here in South Africa is still relevant. All you need is radio play, a dope music video, collabs, you know, word of mouth. 
especially in hip hop for you to get noticed. But that's not how things work on the other side of the world. He should take advantage of digital marketing. He should hop on TikTok and start making content or pay someone to do it. He's not broke. He's been complaining that it's hard to collab, but we all know that the Drakes of the world come with a price. He can collab with pr producers, Metro Booming. Producers are easy to access than those big rappers. I mean, we have Kato on the beat. You can DM him right now on Instagram. And since he is verified, maybe he might respond. Or write him an email. Hey, like, he could collab with Dex. Dex has a lot of fans in South Africa. Also, Ras, he's very accessible. All of our popular indies from the US. He could showcase his skills and build a fan base with them. He could work with American music agencies like Contrabrand, um, with Jokori, Brandman Sean, who's responsible for multiple artists' success like 24K Golden, and the owner of NPR Global, J.R. McKee. He's responsible for Money Long's Hours and Hours success, and it actually won a Grammy. Yeah, it might be different to work with someone who is outside America, but come on, it's marketing at the end of the day. They're going to find a way to like make you different, you know, and you actually have to take their advice or else I shame. Mm. So in conclusion, he needs to immigrate to the US because he's not getting a nomination for African music category unless he releases a piano Afrobeat or any other type of African music. Hip hop is not African. It's only Guaido, Pantula, and Exanofana because they are all hip hop inspired, you know. And they are also not mainstream. Tough luck. But thank you, my peeps. I'm not a hater. I'm sure you understand me by now. Tell me why you think Nasty C isn't getting traction in the comments down below. Let's conversate and debate. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll see you in the comments.